So, doing some research on the Illuminati. I, I'm going to download the audio books for the Illuminatus, which is the books that the card game is playing off of. All right? Well, I just... It takes a while for them to load. I got this one done. Watch. It's downloading. So now I want to go to this book two, part one. Take it over here. Download it. So as I, while I did that to the first one, I was going ahead and listening to the second one. So let's listen to this second one from the start. And this is the start of it. This kind of looks like maybe it's a hotel room. It's got cameras all around. It's bugged, all right? Like there's, all right? So listen to the story that this guy tells. It's not a story. Listen to the, the words from this book. Tobias Knight, the FBI agent monitoring the buggy. The agent monitoring the bugging system, his name is Tobias Knight. Tobias Nighttime is, at the nighttime is when it happened. To buy this is up to you. <laughs> Equipment in Dr. Mosinigo's home heard the pistol shot the same time Carmel did. Heard the pistol shots. There's no pistols. But according to one of the videos that's out there, there were like three or four pistol shots that they attribute to him shooting the windows out in order for him to shoot with the gun, which makes no sense because why would he fucking do that? If he was already going to shoot him out anyway, he used big power. What the hell? He said out loud, sitting up straight. He had heard the door open and footsteps walking about and had been waiting. He heard the door open. Does that sound like a security guard to you? Seen footsteps walking about? For conversation. And then, without warning, he had heard the shot. Now a voice spoke. Sorry. Without warning, he heard a shot. Is that Paddock being assassinated? Dr. Masanigo, you were a great patriot, and this is a dog's death, but I will share it with you. Then there were more footsteps and something else. Knight recognized the sound. <laughs> He's going to... After he shoots him, he's going to share in his glory, basically. Who's sharing in the glory but the security guard, Jesus Campos? There's liquid being poured. The steps and the pouring liquid continued, and Knight abruptly tore himself out of his state of shock and pressed the intercom. Knight? Asked a voice, which he recognized as Esperando Despond, the special agent in charge for Las Vegas. The special agent in charge in Las Vegas. He is seeing people... Do what? Mosinigo's house, Knight said crisply. Get a whole crew out there double quick. Something is happening. One killing at least. Get him out there in a hurry. One killing at least. He released the intercom and listened, paralyzed, to the footsteps and the liquid sounds, which were now mixed with subdued humming. A man the sounds of footsteps and humming. People running and guns, bullets, I should say. Flying by, humming, doing an unpleasant job of trying to keep us cool. Knight recognized the tune finally. Camp Town Races. The humming and walking and slurping continued. The humming and walking and slurping continued. People were drunk. And some of them didn't even give a shit. They were just walking like they didn't care. Oh, da day. Do da day. Then the voice spoke again. This is General Lawrence Stewart Talbot. Now there's a, a lead voice spoke again in a louder tone. Listen to what he says. Speaking to the CIA, the FBI, and whoever else has this house bugged. Whoever else has this house bugged. Paddock was associated, or was a, supposedly had the camera set up to see what was going on outside in the hallway, to see the, the 
cops coming. I discovered. But but if he was planning to kill himself, may I ask why in the fuck he would have needed the cameras? At two this morning, that several people in our anthrax leprosy pie project have accidentally been subjected to live cultures. He was a, a subjected to live cultures. The live culture would have been the folks at the at the concert. Those were live people of a culture. Their culture would be country music, conservative. Their culture could have been hillbilly, redneck. Could have been black, could have been green, could have been anyone. They didn't care. All of them are living at the installation and can easily be isolated while the antidote works. I have already... All of them are living at the... <laughs> together and they're isolated and the antidote work. That sounds like more than one person in Las Vegas where the antidote worked. More than one shooter. Given orders to that effect, Dr. Masaniko himself unknowingly received the worst dose and was in advanced morbidity a few minutes from death when I arrived. His whole house obviously will have to be burned down, and I. So this agent's house, that's being that that was bugged, has to be burnt down. That that is a cover up of the story that happened in Vegas. This story has to be burnt down, covered up. And also, due to my proximity while examining him, too far gone to be saved. I will therefore shoot myself after setting fire to the house. The shoot himself after setting fire to the house. This could also be interpreted as Paddock himself speaking. He's speaking, saying to the FBI, CIA, and anyone else who has his house bugged. He could be talking about his hotel room that was bugged, and he knew it. The other ones that could be listening could have been the people that were coming there to buy some guns, like the CI ISIS. There was one remaining problem. I found evidence that a woman had been in Dr. Masaniko's bed earlier. That's what comes of allowing important people to live off base. And found out that there was gonna there was a snitch basically that was laying in this guy's bed that's gonna have to be taken out. That's what you get for being out of control, living off base. Can I tell you that there's someone that's out of control in this situation? Stay safe, Laura Loomer. Just saying. She must be found and given the antidote, and each of her contacts must be traced. Neither. Hopefully you're not given the antidote, Miss Laura Loomer. <laughs> Just to say, this must be done quietly, or there will be a nationwide panic. Be done quietly, or it's a nationwide panic. How do you do stuff quietly? By holding, withholding evidence. By not letting people into the press conference to ask the right questions. By putting this goddamn hero security guard on fucking Ellen where no questions will be asked. Put him in front of someone that's going to throw real questions at him. We know this isn't going to happen. This is part of the brainwash brainwashing that they do. He he won't go on the news networks because everybody knows that's fake news. So let's put him on something that has millions of viewers that surrounds every demographic. All the people that they're trying to get on their side, which is the gays and the women and the liberals, I'm not saying anything bad about that, but that's how, those are the people that watch Ellen's show. They're easily brainwashed. So anything she says, I guarantee you they're going to be casting aside as a joke. This is no joke. If there's tears that shed, that's because there's real blood that was shed. But we would like the real story. I'm freaking out just listening to this this little part of this book. I can only imagine what the rest of it holds. 
if this is only book two, part one, does that mean we're right in the center? We're right at the start of the second book? Right at the start of the second book, this comes out. Oh, wise guy, eh? Look, that guy's a special agent. You could almost put a hot dog costume on him. Mustard. I don't know, kids. Stay tuned.